the incident with uh, in Holstein Park in Chicago. I, from my information, I found out that the group of young kids, like 13, 14, they're uh, Puerto Rican and black. They're actually uh, uh, Spanish vice lords. All right, so you're going to hear the story straight from the horse's mouth on that. Plus, we're going to be talking about a little bit of politics, okay? Especially about uh, this guy uh, that was a Cook County sheriff. He's a DJ uh, going to run in the 26th ward against Maldonado. And Maldonado, like I predict, like I know, is going to lose this coming election 2023. And the one who's going to win is Angie Gonzalez. That's my prediction there. And there's a lot of reasons to that when I do uh, Angie's uh, video for her uh, campaign video. You're going to see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let I'm going to turn you on to this. It's pre-recorded and I'm going to do my report because I got to write an article. Because I just found, I located, I've been on it for 10 years. And I just located the other day something that I that was hidden. And I don't think a lot of people know about it. Except maybe the farmer. Or even realize what it is. But it's actually an prehistoric Stone Age village site. You can watch my video on that. It's unconfirmed now. It's just on me. And I'm, not, I'm just going to school. System Wapensu College. I've been studying this for 10 years. So is let's see if. Uh, I can get confirmation from the the tribe's historian and uh, tomorrow St. John, who, St. John, who's also uh, uh, South Dakota, uh, Illinois State Representative for the first district here in South Dakota. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna do my work. Okay, check it out. Yeah. You know who else is running for the 26th war? Who? You know that guy, Judy, jumping for us? I already know that. You already knew that? Yeah, don't worry about him. I got I got information all the way back on this guy. He used to be a Cook County Sheriff. He worked in Division One. He he's a, a DJ. He's he's about making money. Yeah. About making yeah. money only. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you talk to me about him once before? Yeah. I remember. That's why I was thinking. I said, because I saw a poster of him. Okay, let me tell you. Maldonado, he's out of there. They're going to vote him out. Everybody, huh? Yeah, I don't blame him. So, he's going to be voted out, and I'm going to tell you who's going to win. Angie Gonzalez. Community, I got videos on her, so I'm gonna make a video today for her campaign. I already made videos against Maldonado. You seen them, right? Oh, uh, Maldonado? I don't think I seen it. No. Man, you need to go see those videos, bro. I fucking slammed them. <laughs> all the crime, all the crime. I got people on camera. I got people on camera saying. I got people on camera saying in front of his office that they came from. They've been in poor areas before, white people, but they never been in a place like this. They, it's so violent. They, he, the guy said, I, I, there was two, two shootings in the same place, and then Hector. I got Hector on there when he went out there in the shooting with the bullet, the glass in the back with the bullet hole, and he's condemning all the uh, Maldonado, uh, the alderman. And the uh, state rep and all of them for not coming out to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I saw that video. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. I slammed Lori Lightfoot ten times. Okay. I made ten videos against her. And uh and for uh mayor for mayor uh our next mayor, Willie Wilson, I got a lot of videos from my field before and I made already three or four for him. So I'm gonna make at least ten for him. So see, the good thing is this: the election doesn't come until to March, February. So people got time to share it. Cause I've, the main thing is you got to share it. Every time I send it to somebody, I expect them to send it to at least one other person, friends or whatever. Oh, okay. So I put it on my Facebook, you, and then I send it to specific people on Messenger, and I spread it everywhere. And you know what? That shit is getting seen everywhere. Even in different New York, Philadelphia, <clears throat> I got people calling me, texting me, or leaving comments 
Keep up the good work, bro. Man, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. There's gun that guy uh so this is the background for uh jumping Julian Perez. He is Puerto Rican. I thought he was Mexican. But <clears throat> according to my cousin, it's from 18th Street. And from another brother that I know these guys to join, spent 30 years uh, <clears throat> in the joint. He knew Julian Perez, Trump and Julian Perez, when he uh, when he worked in Division One as a Cook County Sheriff. But he also was doing DJing. So he's always been about making money. He knows how to he knows how to make money. He knows how to throw parties. He knows how to make fundraisers. And now he wants to run for alderman. But he ain't, he ain't naming no specific question. He is saying that he wants to run for alderman to help his community. But he ain't saying nothing specific like because the crime is so bad, because Maldonado's corrupt. He ain't saying none of that, which tells me what? If he gets in, he's gonna is this going to be the same old show? Will be transfer Maldonado for him. Yep. Now, and then the other one, let me see who else is running. Of significance, nobody. But the only one that she got, so Maldonado, he's going to lose. I already know. That's my prediction. Not just because I'm thinking it, because I know it, because I've been, to, since he won the last election four years, I've been on him for the last four years, and he's been fucking up. It's like Mayor Lightfoot, fucking up. I got videos against her. So with that, Angie Gonzalez was the one that was out there taking care of all those Hurricane Maria families. Then Maldonado and the, got a lot of money for it to bring him here. And then he's got him. They just brought him here and they just left him. They didn't help him move. They didn't help him do, do shit. And left him with empty apartments. I got the video with Angie helping them. And with uh, Hector too. And I'm in the video I remember, too. I remember that video. Yeah, so now that comes back to play now. Understand? It's, it's, that video from four years ago is valid still now because... All those people got in the office, they promised change, and they never did it. And now we got the proof, four years of proof, to show everything. I got four years of proof for Lori. All the shootings I got, you crazy? You know what I got? Man, I've been hitting her with all... I've been making videos that are 10, 15 minutes with all nothing but shootings all over Chicago from, since when she took office. And then me getting run over and all that. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that counts too. And that counts against the spotter because I already did it against the spotter. His commercial against mm -hmm. him. And I did one for Joe Moreno. I so the people I'm going for is Joe Moreno in the force. Angie Gonzalez in the 26. Uh, uh, and Dr. Willie Wilson for mayor. Okay. And that's it. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be so fucking sweet. So when I come back, we're gonna I'm we're gonna, gonna meet what? up with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. You know what? I'm gonna help this dude out. Yeah. And Joe, you, like you told me, yeah. if he wins, if he promised me something, that he. Hey might, Joe, he hey, might, listen, listen, listen. He he's gonna win, brother. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. But La Spada. Showed to be a pussy. He ain't doing shit all the time. Plus, he lied. His whole campaign was... His whole campaign was, I'm not Joe Moreno. Yeah. So I used that campaign. Campaign video he got. I recorded that. Then I showed him everything that happened after he took off. You blasted him. You sure did. Yep. You sure did. You blasted him. Oh. Yep. So I call Joe Moreno, our guys, uh, our guys, our candidate. I call this 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 campaign. I am Joe Moreno campaign. Okay. Because this guy Laspada, his campaign was, I'm not Joe Moreno. Yep. Yep. And, he, and look at all the models he did with the little bit of time that he was here. Yeah, four years been he been fucking up. <laughs> Going behind the community's back, dealing with sh shyster ass construction companies who who put their laborers at at risk of getting killed, who are, are who cause uh, a 
three different hails of fucking uh, cement powder to be spread around the whole neighborhood. They never cleaned it. <laughs> and that's what it is, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna be sick. He, he's gonna try to protect himself on that one. He knew, he, he I think he locked, he closed him down. So I'm gonna Radio, him down. I don't know who. It's too late. It's too, it's late. too late. Plus, the. <clears throat> the last time about the that banana scandal when he dressed up a banana with the four black kids and his friends dressed with a uh, racist face, black face, it was two days before the election and the people didn't get the message so quick enough. Oh. Now, during this election, they got that message from me because I put that in there too. And I even used a picture of him dressed as a banana on the videos. So when anybody's looking, they're gonna see him. With, they're gonna see the banana with the black faces and the three black, four black kids. They're gonna fucking look at it. You think they'll recognize who he is? Yeah, cause I put it in there. Alderman Espada. Come on, bro. These are videos against him. His name is in there. Articles. Don't you remember? I wrote the article, the news article. Yeah, 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 you sure did. Come on, man. You're slipping, bro. No, I, I, man, I've been going through all kinds of shit like that. The, the news articles. Been two fucking days. The news articles. Like fucking, I'm running around like a chicken without a head. I'm fucking, I ain't slept in two days. I'm, I'm, I, I went off over the, today. I mean, for the last couple of days, I took care of business. I went to the school. I told him, you, you, you need to take care of your business over here with these students. Because they, over here you claim. Lario. Lario. I thought you said you were going to go there, and I thought you said you were going to wait for me to go there. You weren't supposed to go there, bro, by yourself. You're dealing with feelings. No, you're dealing with feelings, and if you go there, he's going to do, it's going to be a war. Wait till I get there, and let me be the middleman. I know how to talk, bro. See, you went over and said, you need to. That's the last thing you should have done. Man, Lario, don't do that, bro. I told you, avoid problems. You should have waited till I got there. You're approaching it the wrong way, bro. Well, I know one thing. None of them show their face. What you say to them? I I, I had a meeting with the with the, the the dean's right hand. I guess as a second in command, and I told him, I says, you send these kids over here, and we told you more than one time that there's been problems, and you and and, and you said you're gonna take care of it, and you have not solved the problem. I said they are literally threatened. One of our employees and threatened me that they were gonna that, that their father was gonna come beat me up. I said, listen, let me tell you something. I said, I said you're doing the wrong thing by sending these kids over here, stealing from the, from other people, mistreating the senior citizens. Oh, that sounds good, then, If you told them like that, huh? If you told them like that, that's good. Yeah, and then I told him mistreating the senior citizens. And I told him, and then he freaked out. He oh, he went. He started writing everything down. Today, there was not a soul out there. My boss said, what did you say? What did you say to me, Lario? I said, I told him what I feel. I don't think it's proper for him to send them over here because they're making they're, they're showing a bad example to our children when our five and six-year-olds are watching them do all these things right in front of our, their faces. They're doing, he's doing this. They're doing it. And we don't think that's fair. And 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 he he said he was he wrote everything down and then today and then no he told me he said he said oh he said within a couple of days we'll have the kids come back over I said no we don't want, no longer want them over here because you said that before more than one time that you was gonna solve the problem and you did not solve the problem okay and hold right there the same thing hold I said and, I, and when I told him the last words I said if you cannot take care of it then I'm gonna take it. Further. Okay, hold on. Action. Let me say something though. Uh, I don't think legally the park, if they could stop them from coming back if they're behaving themselves. So I don't think you're in the league. Uh, legally, I mean, I don't think what you said, well, they could put a lawsuit on that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, but luckily you're, you're not. You're not, you're speaking for yourself, that's all. But yeah, the, just, the yeah. CP... I, the, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to leave that place any fucking way, but if I can help these people before I leave, that's it, because I know what they're doing. 
Yeah. They're stealing. They body slammed the Puerto Rican girl. They picked up a, a girl, a young girl, and body slammed her so hard. Benario, that. But the thing is this. The Park District, when it was, since it was founded, way back in the day, you, Chicago was always a gangster place, always kids fighting. The thing is, they noticed they're supposed to, if they can't, if the staff that's there can't handle it, they're supposed to replace them with other staff they can. And if it becomes criminal, then they're supposed to call the police and have them arrested and let the courts deal with them. But I don't think you can legally, they can legally stop them from going there unless they get convicted from a judge or something or get something from a judge saying they can't go there. Yeah. So that's what the problem is going to be. Did you tell him you wanted to meet up with him so we could talk to the kids? Yeah. What did he say? He said, he said he's going he's gonna to work it out. Okay, we'll go and we're going to do, we're going to do an intervention with them. You know what to do. I brief you on how we do it. We're gonna go in there. It's gonna be me and you. You're gonna have. You're gonna have your say. I have, and I'll. T and we'll both work together to give them the idea that it's not cool for them to be that way, and that if they're having problems, we're here for them. We're not against them. We're not trying to, because these are kids that don't got no love. I'm trying to tell you, nobody pays attention where they're gonna be doing what they're doing. So that includes the parents too. The parents don't give a care either. Okay. Like. Yeah, so I'm not worried about them. Fuck the parents. I'm worried about the kids. Let's do the intervention. Let's talk to them. Let's see what happens with that group of kids. I already went through all that, like, but if you, uh, I don't, I don't think I even want to, I don't think I'm going to be there by the time all that happens. I'm going to be out of there. I'm, I'm already looking for another Okay, just get me in the door with this guy in the school. But, but, but just okay. We, just in case that I'm, that, that I'm still here, then we're going to go there. Okay, cool. But if I'm, I'm I want to try, I still want to try, I still want to put the seed in their mind and yes. give them my phone number so that if any of them needs any, if there any, any shit, because trust me, bro, when they get a number like that from a person, they know, because we're real, they're going to know it, they'll call. And we could, if we could help, if I could help them, I help them. Whoever calls, I help. Because they don't like reaching out to adults. Nobody cares. Nobody helps them. So they got to stick with their own guys. And they got to be rough because they're little kids. So if they're going to form a gang, let's make it where I could tell them, instead of forming a gang for bad, you guys are cool. You came up together. I understand that. I got my group still to this day. Hook up and do some good stuff. They got their own gym over there. Why couldn't they? Why would they want to keep them at their gym? Why would because they, they don't care. All they're doing is getting the money for these special kids, which is a lot of money, making sure that they stay quiet in the class because they said it. They're angels in the class, of course, because they threaten them with everything they can. Trust me. I'll find out. They threaten them with everything they can, so they're going to be in check, and then they're going to get wild. They know they're going to be wild once they send them to you guys. And they, right. They got them off their back. Yes. They, they got their money. In other words, they're throwing the weight at us. Right. They got paid. They got their money. Yeah. They got their money. They, they throw, and then they put, they put, they, they send them to us, throwing the weight towards us. I know exactly what they're doing. I, I yeah. feel it. Right. But, but, um, I'm, I'm weird to go with you. What I'm with sure you? I'm going to bust it down. First of all, I'm going to find out. I'll find out. I'll find out who those people are. I'll find out their school. I'll find out if they're not for profit. I'll find out how much money they receive and how much the CEO gets paid and how much the rest of those teachers get paid. And then I'll talk to the kids. Yep. Because if they're making all that money... They need to fucking do a program right there. Why send them to the park district? You got a gym there? Program right there. Dude, yes, the program. Yes, the fuck. Yeah, we could do the program there. We could do a program with them. We could work with them. Yeah, right there. They don't have to come to the park. Right. But they're, 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 they're being slick and throwing them in the park. And throwing of them all course. The and we're getting all the ugly craziness weight. Of course. Then, Joey, for this last six months, 
my life has been miserable because they've been making me miserable because they're fucking up the park and fucking me up and screaming and hollering and telling me don't touch me, don't put my hand on me. I said, I'm going to put my hand on you, but you got to get out of here. I said, you got to get out of here. You're not going to come over here beating up on people in front of me. And, and I didn't like the idea that my boss put me in that spot, but it's okay because I was able to teach them a little bit of something. Respect. I told them, you're going to come in here with respect. You're not going to come in here and do what you want to do. Right. And I continued to tell him that. And I said, if you want it, you want to mess with me, come on with it. And I threw them all out. My, that's why the, the girl that was with me, she, um, um, what's her name? Uh, Isabella. She loved me because I took a lot of the weight off her back because they were making her life miserable. And she's, she's only 24 years old. And they knew she's young, so they were all over fucking around and, and jumping all over the place and in, in, in her office, just tearing her office up and, and taking her food. And I was like, wait up, whoa, 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 this is going to stop right now. Hold that. You guys ain't going to come and do what you want to do. Look at, look at how ugly it was. They, they were coming in the office and sitting in our chairs behind the office table. Going in our computers. Going in our refrigerator, <laughs> they eat the fuck out of it. Get the fuck out of it. I threw them all out of there. <laughs> Nadio, <laughs> this is what I got to say. I know they gave you the fucking flux, those little, those little fuckers. The thing is, what I'm trying to tell you is this. <laughs> Check this out. They gave the flux. <laughs> this is what I want to tell you. The reason why they're so disrespectful. Is because they've been never been shown respect, Lario. Yeah. These kids been abused all through this, through everything. So they're rebellious. So what happened was Isabella was 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 taking them one at a time, and she was and she was um she should have been a social worker. So she talked to them one at a time and told them why are you like that, and they were telling her their problems. They said, my mom and dad, all they do is smoke reefer, and they don't give a care about us, and woo woo and we don't even eat at home, and I, I'm suffering at home, and, and my life is miserable, and, and and they don't care. They're just out there in the streets, hanging out and doing things. And that when, when Isabella told me that she was taking them all one at a time, and, she, and, I, and schooling them, and trying to help them, and when it was which, so she opened up um, volleyball practice basketball Bella is a badass girl well, I respect her big time um, she ended up quitting because she was, had enough because they weren't paying her enough and she said I, I'll find me a job making more money somewhere else and and I'll get a lot of the stress off my back because she was in charge of all the bad kids she was in charge of the softball team leads she was in charge of the basketball leads she was in charge of everything. She took action. She, I got to respect her big time. I told her, man, you know what? I, I, I got to give her your props. I told her, you are. And you know what I gave her? I gave her a, a glass mitten with a glass ball that you can spin the ball on top of the mitten real cool. She loves it, man. I said, look, it, you are the de real deal. And I said, I would like to give this to you. I know you're leaving. This is a gift from me to you. And she said, Mario, this is nice. And I said, put it on the table. And she put it on the table. And, I, and when she put it, I put the ball on top of the, uh, the glass ball on top of the mitt. And I spin it for her. And she said, ah, that is cool. Elario. Elario. Thank you, Elario. Elario. So, yeah, she is a hero. And I and that and that was good. She spoke to him. I would, I would, I already could figure out that the kids were suffering like that. And the I told you, and you know that the kids are fucked up. So the thing is this. Let me finish. Check this out. The thing is this, though, whenever you get a place that you get that door open and they talk to you, yeah, it's good because the park district, they're thinking about sports, sports, sports. But remember, what did she, he tell them? They're not eating at home and they're being mistreated. So you got to add that in. How hard is it to get food, packs of food? For the kids, bags, for those groups of kids, and get them food in there. Even if the park district don't pay for it, we can go out there and get people from stores and restaurants to do donate for that program. I can do it. Now. I did. I did. I was giving them hot dogs and hamburgers. I was cooking. I went to Sam's Club and I bought all kind of food and I was feeding them. And they were still stealing from us. Lario. Okay, they're still stealing and everything. So then the next thing is this, though. You got to show them how to make money. You got to show how to make money legit. And how you make, how do teens make money? 
they some of them may be able to go to work, some maybe not, but they could they could fucking do all kinds of shit that are over online with apps that they pay you. One of them is re, uh, uh, snapping receipts from people, from anybody who buys stuff in the stores. You snap those receipts and you get money out of them, $10, $20. I know that lick is on the app. I was making money with it. Another one is in, uh, is filling out on the app how to fucking uh, do uh, some other stuff. But then, not only that, you have to take them on field trips, Ladio. To the fu- we were doing it. I'm telling you, with the six months that I was there, we were taking them out there, man. Where'd you take them to? Man, look at I, I, six months of my time with Bella. I was I was with her because I saw that she was in need of help, and I was and I threw down with her, and we took these people everywhere the kids, and we. we well, where? Them, like, where? Queens we took them to the fucking ballpark. We took them to the fucking um, museum. We took them to the fucking um. We took them to a lot of different places, man. I'm telling you, Bella's a badass. And, and 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 my boss Shannon, she approved of everything. And that was and I give her respect for that too because she approved it. And that was even more of a blessing. Uh, I have to give both of them. Everybody that works in that park district, I give them all the respect because okay. I seen something that I always wanted to see. Somebody helping others. And that's what they were doing. They were helping them and they were shocked to see that they were they 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 turned all the all the kids turned their backs on us and 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 they were still stealing from us. They were getting when we stopped. All right, I'm gonna be real. So I'm gonna be real. Check office. this out. You got who so that just tells me that uh even though they had the good hearts and they tried and tried and they did everything they can, they were still ineffective. Which means yeah. Which means, my the first idea that comes to my mind is they couldn't they couldn't uh, relate to her telling them about the stories. But I know one thing: they're gonna relate to me and you, because we were there where they were at. We were there where they were at, and that's how I tell them. Right, and that's why I tell them my horror story. I told I told them my horror story, but they don't give a fuck. Them kids don't give a fuck. They try to fight. They don't give a shit. You know what? They you know what I noticed. What they are? How oh, this is this is too good to be true. What I'm gonna tell you? They are real, true troublemakers. They're what they call. Um, they like drama. They like that shit. They like to say he said, she said. They, this is a weird fucking group of kids i've never seen them in my life it's not you know, weird back in, the, back in the days we it's not weird when they do this shit it she just tells me that all those kids got together because they got similar pro- problems with their parents yeah similar problems with their parents yeah right they're they're imitating their parents they're imitating their parents correct yes you said the right word yeah and their parents is is is, is literally a bunch of come mierdas. Come mierdas. They literally came to the, to, and made a scene. I yeah. don't want none of them over there. I have them over Now, the parents, the parents, the parents if the parents come, if the parents come, you have, you deal with them with the police, have them arrested. That's it. Fuck them. They're fucking up their kids and they're setting up their kids themselves to get killed by the police on the street, to become, to go to prison, to have fucked up lives. So fuck them. Yep. And you know what? Nine, <laughs> almost all of them, half of them are all Puerto Ricans. They better hope the police, they don't tell the police, these kids don't tell the police all this shit about their parents. Their parents are going to get locked up. Well, I told the deacon. I told him the parents had nothing to do with this and they made a big scene out here. It was one kid that stole the phone and nobody knew nothing. And all these kids already came with drama. About uh, 20 of them. All oh, that we seen him and he didn't do this and he didn't do that and then nobody was there. It was the kid, he stole the other phone from the kid and he ran and he jumped inside the truck with his with his parents and his parents took off. Uh, they, they, they knew he did it. And then he's gonna tell me, and he's gonna tell me you didn't see anything. I said, I saw you take that phone, I thought it was yours. And that's why I didn't say nothing. And then, and then he said, You didn't see nothing. He said, if and, and I'll get my dad. To, to beat your ass, I say, bring your dad because he, you, you're you going to have a nightmare if he's my best friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a 
I told him, bring your dad. If he's my best friend, your ass is going to get your ass kicked like you never got it before. Yeah, from his father. Yeah. That's so the way he used to be. In other words, he's putting his father in the drama. Right. That's how the old Puerto Ricans used to do it. Yep. You would lie to your, father, your parents or your uncle or something and say somebody did something and they didn't do it and put them in it, you get your fucking mouth and you were wrong, they'll, they'll knock your, they'll smack you in the yep. mouth. You know his father, if he's a, if he's a, if he's a badass and he put him in that drama, he's gonna bust his motherfucking shit. Yeah. You put me in that shit, you you still told that man that I was gonna go with him. What is your fucking problem, you stupid motherfucker? I don't want you trying to get me caught up in some shit. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna happen because I told the dean what he said and he threatened that he was gonna break down Bella's windows. I told him I said we don't need this kind of drama over here. I said, we got five-year-olds over here that we need to help. Yeah, that, you don't that, need them there in the park. If they go for it, they go for it, and they keep them in the school. If the school, we're going to talk to them so they open up some, they got, listen, they're getting too much money, I find out, I'm going to tell them, you got enough money for X amount, for this kind of program here, for after school with these kids. Okay, until their I'm parents saying, come and get them. If we can do that, we'll do that. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. To open up their own gym and let them stay after our school there. Yeah, let's do that. So they're making the money anyway. They just don't want them because they're trouble kids. I already know. Hey, do me a favor. Get a piece of paper and just get put one, two, three, and put on the top uh, uh, signatures for uh, from. Just put uh, signatures for for uh, this school to keep for them to keep it after school instead of letting them to the park. And have people from around there sign it. Or we can do it again. Wait, say that again. I, I'm gonna, when I get there, I'm gonna make a, I'll make, I'll make a list. We're gonna get signatures. I'll type it up real nice, and it's gonna be for people who are for getting those kids out of there and having them have their own program inside the school. Inside the school, right? Thanks. We'll get everybody. Yeah. Because everybody in the neighborhood sees these kids coming over to making trouble. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody's scared. They, 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 they feel terrified. The neighborhood, uh, the neighborhood yeah. people feel terrified with these kids. Those are the kids that will blow your brains out and not think second. Those are the kids that blow your brains out. I'm, I, I, that's what I'm saying. When, when he threatened that he was going to get his father to come beat my ass, I said, what? I looked at him. I said, okay, you want some of me? Okay, let's do this. You see, that kid is making... See me, I want to talk He's with somebody else, but when I was that age, I wouldn't use nobody else. I sh I had a gun on me. I would have shot a motherfucker right there. And that's the danger, because you're going to end up with someone like that sooner or later. It may be the same kid. He may have a gun on him, by chance. And, and Joey, the interesting, the crazy part about it is, I, I give food to all these kids. I go buy uh, fucking hundreds of hot dogs, hundreds of hamburger boxes, and I put them in the freezer, and then I I, I got I get the grill on top of the fucking, and the, and the, on the top of the attic, on the, on the top of the roof, and I fucking, I, I pop off all, I start cooking like a dog. And it, it takes me like about two hours, and I cook about 100 hot dogs and 100 fucking hamburgers, and I, and I feed the whole part. You know what? I think that maybe... They really gave you the flux when you got there because as soon as you got there, you were trying to help them do everything. And the more bad they got, the more you tried to do things for them, like food and everything. So they got carried away with it. They tried to play a game, but it backfired on them. Yeah, they tried to play the game and it backfired on them. Right. And then they didn't realize I was trying to be nice to them. Right. And they continued to, to, to destroy the park. And they making me work hard because they were throwing soda pop all over the floors. I had to mop everything. They were throwing food everywhere. They were, they were sticking candy all over the fucking bathroom. They were fucking me up. They were fucking me up. Oh, they were pissing in the garbage cans. They were writing gang activity on the walls. Uh, they put me to work. They were putting What they wrote on the walls? They wrote vice lords or some shit. Wow. Spanish vice lords, the walls, and they put maniac Latin disciple killer, and and Latin kings or some shit. I don't know what the fuck. I think it was Latin kings, but I erased all that shit. I, the next day, that everything looked brand new again. I fucked them up. If, if, no matter what they did, I fucking slammed that ass. I was cleaning the whole fucking place. My boss, she gave me a lot of respect because she said, "Damn," she said, "Everybody that comes here quits." 
She said, you last the six months. I got to give you respect, you know. I, I, she said, I honor you. What that mean? I honor you. That means they honor you. They respect you. Oh, is that what that is? No, come on. Lottie. Okay. She said, I honor you a lot, Ilario. I like you. I like you. Yeah, you but you know what it was? They like, of course they like you. You're the big sucker they were throw, able to throw all the weight on. Yep, and make their escape. Ass. And make their escape. <laughs> then they were able to make their escape. And they were able to make their escape. You're right. <laughs> you said the right word because that's exactly what I see. Shit, they left you, to, you know, They left you as the last man to die. Yeah. They're probably waiting to see it on the news. Man, park district man, uh, park district employee shot to death. Yeah. They're waiting to see it on the news, Lario. No, the, the, the kids, they, were, they, they had no respect for the police officer. They cursed the police officer out right in front of the boss. The Where boss do you think they learned that from? Huh? Where do you think they learned that from? From their parents, okay. from the news, from the they, TV. Yeah. TV too, yeah. They said, oh, you just prejudiced because I'm black, they told the, the cop. The were these all black or Latinos? Uh, black and Latino, right? Black and Latino. So I think they're Spanish vice lords. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're vice lords. I know they're vice lords. But I, I'm not scared of no fucking body. If they pull out a weapon on me and he's real close to me and, and he doesn't shoot me real fast, I'm fucking chasing him and I'm kicking his motherfucking ass with the pistol. No, I'm going to take it from him. I'm going to take the gun from him. If he's real close to me, I'm taking it. Look, 
look at I have one of the kids come up to me and told me borrow me a knife. And I said, What do you need a knife? He said, Because I'm gonna stab my sister. I told her, Come over here, let me talk to you. I says, You don't need to go that way. Your your sister's the, the one that loves you more than ever. She, she's always beating me up. She's always kicking my ass. She's always screaming and hollering at me for everything I do. I say, it's okay. I say, it's your big sister. She's trying to help you, and you're not cooperating with her. You need to cooperate with your sister. You need to stay close to your sister. Your sister loves you. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You don't want to stab you. I said, come over let's talk. I said, I want to have a meeting with you. So I got Bella there, and then he said, and then he, he reversed psychology. He said, oh. <laughs> You think I'm trying to kill my sister? I, I told him, no, and I want you to even, I, I wouldn't even think that in a million years, but if you actually <laughs> want it because you want to, because you want to put, stick her with a knife, that's, that's right now, you shouldn't even say that. You know, I, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to help you. If anything, I'm trying to help you. I said, you don't need to go that way. And then, and then Bella started schooling her. He said, ah, I just wanted the knife so I can cut the tag off my shirt. I said, he tried to reverse psychology. And, and come to find out that he's got a, a, a mentally problem. <laughs> and he fucked everybody up. He sprayed, he sprayed, every, he took the fire extinguisher and he fucked all those kids up. Because they were fucking with him. <laughs> they, were bull, they were bullying him. You know, when they bully him, the they come and they go get a gun and they shoot them all up. Yeah. But this guy, and he didn't have a gun, but he got the fire extinguisher and he fucked all those kids up. <laughs> He fucked him up with the fire extinguisher. He blew that shit all in the face. And that's the type of mentality that when they do get a gun, they will go and do a shooting. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you report that? Yeah, I reported them. The mother had to get over here and the father had to come over. We told him we can't take this anymore. You got to take your child out of here. We, he's, he's, he's beating on little kids. Oh, he was taking... A, there was a kid about two feet tall. A kid. <laughs> about maybe <laughs> four years old and he would take their lunch bag and eat their food and then slap them around and he was like about he he was like about maybe 14 years old and and he was a big fat bullying the little shorties because the other big ones were bullying him now he's bullying <laughs> the little ones and I saw that shit, and I said, this is not going to happen. Fuck that. Joey, they made me win through the fucking... They made me go through some shit up in that bitch. But I fucking beat the fucking system. I threw them all out. I beat the system. The last one, I ended up beating the system, and my boss gave me my props. She said, man. She said, Nadia, thank you. She said, thank you. <laughs> she, said, she said, you just... You have no idea what we was going through. I said, I know what we were going through because for the six months that I was I was in charge of them, they, they, they made me go through what, what I believe you were going through for the last three years. And then because a new face came in, they didn't like the idea. Who's this guy, Lario? Then the parents, they didn't give a fuck because they, 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 got, they, they don't have to worry about their crazy son driving them crazy, so they're going to leave him in our hands for two hours fucking everything up in the park. You know, I, I, I fix everything and clean everything and make sure everything looks good when everybody comes the next day early in the morning, the park is good. They were fucking clogging up my toilet. They were throwing fucking um, rags in the toilet and clogging it up. And it, it was fucking overflowing in the fucking um, in the bathrooms. <laughs> Joey, they, they were literally putting me to work. Hard. I was I was getting my ass whipped for fucking six months at the same time, helping them at the same time, and they didn't appreciate it. And at the very end, enough is enough. I threw them out. Those are the kids that need special attention. I can't help them. They need or you. They, you need. They need special special attention. They need. They need special <laughs> attention. <laughs> look at they. You you can be their friend. They cannot be. You they shouldn't be allowed to be in the park. Period. You can yeah. Help them. And then they put it on and try to steal everything out of your pocket. I mean, they'll fuck you up. They'll steal your shit and don't give a fuck. And, and, then, and, then, and then start talking drama. Start, start putting, you know, they're spreading the drama around. They, they, it was, it's like a group of 20 of them that they love drama. It was weird. I never seen anything like it. I was like, wow. I, and I started thinking to myself, man. 
I remember when 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 I was young and people used to do this kind of stuff. I used to bust them bust them in their face. I used to bust their ass up. You man, what the fuck is your problem going around trying to act like you doing something with? Me? Don't come disrespect me, but and bam, while well, we're knocking them out. <coughs> hey, you know what? So that little gang when they form, they do, when the first time they do something big and kill somebody, they're all gonna snitch on each other. They're all gonna snitch on each other. Yep, they're snitching on each other right now after they got caught up. It wasn't me, it was him. Oh, the girl, the girl started the bochinche and she called all of them over there and, and got all the parents involved. And it was, it had nothing to do with the parents. It had nothing to do with all those kids that got involved. All it was was one kid took somebody else's phone and it was between those two kids. Give them back the phone. That's all. And he didn't give them the phone. And she created animosity between all the families. And I, when the lady said, you started, I said, who are you talking to? She said, you. I said, me? I'm the one that take care of your kid, girl. What you talking about? I'm the one that take care of all these kids over here. I put food in their pocket. I put dollars in their pocket. I help them. I put them in baseball, football, <laughs> everything. Baseball, everything. And then this is what I get for return. The parent, you, coming to put the finger on me? I said, let me tell you something. If you don't leave this park, I'm going to have you arrested, I told you. Yeah, good. And she and, and she was getting tough, and then and then and then uh, uh, a little girl said something to her, and then she and, and she started swinging at her, and I came running full force, and and everybody was pushing and shoving each other, and I said, "You guys get the fuck out of here right now!" I got to scream at all of them, at the parents, everybody out of here. I, I was started throwing all their bags out the fucking park. <laughs> everybody out of here! I threw all their shit out. Fuck you, motherfucker! Come over here, push! Don't you push none of my kids over here! I told her. I protected the kid. It was a, girl, a, little, a 16 year old girl. She was swinging at her. I said, "You got no right coming over here, swinging at her. I'm gonna have you arrested." She, her, and the other ones, they all took off running. They said, "What?" When the cops came, they all took off running. I was like, "I'll be damned! I, I don't believe you came over here with the kid to to get it to the Peria con los niños with the kids. It does not even that's not even your kid. What you doing swinging at that kid?" I was man, you you have no idea. I was a real piece of shit. A real piece of shit, lady. Yeah, a troublemaker. She, you know, she was an instigator. She literally said it was me. You know why she was mad at me because I put her kid out out the park, and she had to come get her kid early. She had to come out of work early to come get her kid because who's going to pick up her kid? Who's going to babysit her kid? I'm not here to babysit your children. You better remember that. I told her. I told all of them that. I'm not here to babysit your kids. I can help you to a certain extent. The extent already, it was too high. Enough is enough. Everybody out of here. They don't even want to talk to me. They don't even want to talk to me. And you know what? I'm glad you said what you just said right now because it makes sense. I want to go over there, me and you. When you come over, we're going straight over to the dean's office and we're going to talk to them and you're going to investigate all that shit like you said. And yeah. we're going to tell them you, you can make a program right here and keep them here with you. Right. I'm with you all the way on that one. Hey, I'll, I'll, even, I'll even provide service for free to them. Uh, uh, doing, uh, we could have, I'm thinking more or less uh, group discussions where everybody shares their experiences. We all talk. Therapy. <coughs> and then classes to show them how to make money. Bella, Bella did that with all of them. A group discussion? Mario. The, yeah, but Bella's not... Let me tell you something. Bella's wonderful. She works for the Park District. She got skills, but she is not a trained counselor. I am. I know what I'm doing. I've worked in Cook County Jail with murderers. I worked in juvenile courts under Judge Kelly with murder, teenage murderers. I've been to their houses. I know how to work with them, and, I, and I've and i got success, and I got others that, that killed other people, went to prisons. Uh, they, I didn't. You know, they were, they, they, they were too far gone. So... They were too far gone. Yeah, I know the tech. I was trained for this, brother. I know what I'm talking. I'm not just saying out of the, out of my a uh, person is just saying I'm gonna do this. I got my degree from St. Boniface from St. Augustine College. When I gonna whatever I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to have my paper, my college, my certificates, all my proof and everything to show who I am, Lario. I don't, you don't, they don't just let you in like that. Yeah. Yep. And we're going to help, help, we're going to do some shit. A lot of them like to, hey, shit. a lot of them like to rap, right? So one idea, they like to rap. I bet you they like to rap. Why don't, I got the cameras. I could do, let's do some motherfucking, let's do some rapping. I'll record you. I'll make your fucking music video. You can put it on YouTube. Yeah, I already did one with those uh, little kids on the South Side. I know. That music video. It's gonna be the same thing with these kids. They're fucking coming at us, but it's okay. Look at, look at. It's a good idea. Let's go over there and make some noise. Yeah, yeah. It's a good and why idea. isn't I'm it? Willing to do it because they're not, they're not taking care of business. They yeah, and the, the aldermen. The people in there and, and 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 not spread them out. They've all, been sending them to the park for years. I heard. All the middle spotter. I don't. All the middle spotter is not gonna do nothing. Alderman, Alderman is spotting and do nothing. He's going to wait till somebody gets killed there and hide out and not say nothing. Uh, Alderman, that's not even Alderman Zapata's war. Who is it? It's another Alderman. I'm going to find out. We'll find out who it is then. Yep, I'm going to find out what, because anybody watching, that's I who I'm going to call. Chat. And when I find out, I'm going to his <laughs> office tomorrow. Oh, you want to call? Wait for you to come. Wait for me to come. Call okay, in. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm gonna get <laughs> the Alderman's <laughs> right information, six, wherever three, he's at. Zero. I'm going to get it real quick. And I'll have it by tomorrow, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out, and eight, I'm, eight, I really want to go over there and talk yes. to him, because they supposedly, one, six, he three, would, zero, they would send somebody to the dean's six, office four, three, and take care of that business. Nine, nine, five, one. Don't ever go to those places, to a political office or the police station by yourself, ever. You might end up in jail. Well, All right. right. Yeah, Just because on this here, you're gonna they don't want you doing that. They, they can chat. listen, Lario. I'm not the the, 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 the right alderman there. has a direct connection to the commanders of the for the police station, and they got political police that they send like that dude that you know, motherfucking Rodriguez. Oh, what's his name, Rodriguez? Remember the cop, Miguel. Yeah. Mike, from, uh, that covers up for uh, Jose Lopez, and they'll Mike arrest you. Them, they'll go over there and they'll start to put their hands on you and you try to push back, they're going to take you down. You end up with a case in jail. That's what happened to me with, with uh, Maldonado. But I recorded it. He tried to try to get me arrested. I went to the police station. Then they tried to say that they're going to arrest me. I said, okay, it's a false arrest. And I gave the phone to my cousin, but they didn't arrest me. I walked out. Don't go by yourself to those places. Okay. Uh huh. You're right. You're right. They got their connections where they can get you. Yeah. I'm trying to cover the bullseye and say that he came over making problems. Right. Reverse the psychology. Of course. But cops know. The cops are going to know the truth. They're going to know that they're going to know that you're right and that they're wrong. Only. They're not going to give a fuck. They're not going to give you a case for what he does. They're going to give you a case for when you try... <clears throat> when they fuck with you and you try to push them back or, or whatever, then they're going to give you a case. Resistant arrest is usually what the case is. And then the thing about the alderman is never showed up. He's going for resistant arrest. Nobody knows nothing. Or if you hit him, then ag aggravated battery on a police officer or whatever. You go to prison. What do you, what do you think? I, I'm one step ahead of it. I try to stay away. Yeah, stay away for it. Wait till I can come. We'll both go. Yep. I, I, let's see how long. Maybe you know. I'm not. I'm not guaranteed. But I'm, I have been putting applications in other places because I had enough of it already. I didn't want it to leave. I wanted to stay. But let's see how things roll over there because. Um, Margarita's being friends with me right now because she said, Ilario, we need people like you here. <clears throat> no, you don't need to be there. And I don't need to be there. No. Hey, uh, it may be Alderman Ariel Reboyes. Say it again? That park may belong to Alderman Ariel Reboyes. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. When <laughs> I find out, I'll, I'll, I'll call you and let you know. Okay. I know, I know. There's a they, they split the, the the war. Yeah. They gave they they, they have all the aldermen now, a new aldermen. Also, 
Yeah, that's when they were met, but that was just a couple of months ago, so that must have been La Spada's at one time. It must have been La Spada's at one Yeah, so good. They fell on him then. Because yep. it's been more than... So you said it's been six months ago? Yeah. Well, then less than six months ago, they just passed that, uh, the, the rezoning. So it yeah. was in the spotter's ward. So now we go to Reboya and let him know that he, he inherited this from the spotter, this mess. What is he going to do about it? That's my plug for my car. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out how long he, this guy been all over here. And he got, and, 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 see what he says from there? All right. And see, because, because, okay, I'll just wait. I'll wait because, um, like you said, it's better to two, two people. Hell yeah. You don't want to get caught up there by yourself, bro. I'm telling you, they'll fucking, but they'll, might, they'll surround I might, you. I might still be working for the company. If I'm still working for them, then we can do it. But if I'm not there, I, I got no right to say nothing else no more once I'm gone. But it's okay. Um, I'm going to still work on it. Anyway, I, I, want, I, want, I want to be able to let the people be free there and not get beat up and take their shit taken from them and get beat up and, and get slammed on the concrete floor. And what's wrong with these stupid motherfuckers, man? They're stupid. They're making problems trying to hurt these kids that are innocent and, and showing a bad example to the five and six-year-olds. I said, no, I don't want that here over here. Look at The park was a ghost town today. I freaked out. When I went over there, I went over there for war. And my boss was like, Eladio, she thought I was gonna, I'm not going to show up. She thought I was not going to show up. I came to work. She said, hi, Nadia. She was all happy as hell I was there. And she asked me, Nadia, I'm going to be leaving to the other park. Um, I think I'm Belmont and Damon or some shit like that. The little one. It says Rose Park or, or Voice Park or something Dude, like that. Dude, that's a little, little park that I know. I've been it's, to that park. It's, 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 my it's, uncle used to live in that area. So I'm... It's right there on Belmont and fucking uh, Damon. Belmont and Damon. It's a park over there. And, and it's got a built-in swimming pool inside. Yeah, it's small. It's small. Yep. She said, "Would you, if I give you an offer, would you come work for me with me over there? And she you said, should over because over that area is nice. And whatever kids that are there, even like from the insane deuces or whatever, look at them, yeah. they're, they're yeah. not bad That's like that. They, they don't... The they got different experience. They're respectful. They're yeah. the same deuces. Yeah, the deuces used to be... And the Simon Royal City Royals, too. Are. Simon City Royals, yep, too. That's, that's the park. Oh, you'll that's love that. Park. It's a small park. Small, real small. Yeah, it's a small park, and she wants to get rid of... There's a gay, there's a gay man in there working, and he doesn't even wear a uniform or nothing. He, don't, he, don't, he looks unprofessional. And 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 she she's willing to get him out of there and bring me in and and pay me to run the show there. You better jump on that boat. I was thinking about it. Let's see what's gonna happen. I I put in an application for some other places. If I get hired for more money, I'm, I'm gone. But if it don't happen, then I'll take that boat. Dude, that's closer than to you than anywhere. Even if they gave me yeah. some money, what good is it if they say to the south side or or the north side? <laughs> well, you don't know, and there's a but there's going to be gangs anyways around there. Why are you going to do that? Yes. You know what that you know the people you know the people there used to work over there. That kid that you were looking for, the one you tell me about that kid again. He's probably going to run into him. The kid that no, he don't live over there. He's against the deuces. He's a king. He, I, I think he's, his whole family's kings. Not you. The deuces are not over there no more. It's the kings. I don't know. I couldn't. No, it's the Latin kings. The deuces are not there no more. The kings they took really that are. neighborhood. That kid, you're going to find him over there. I'll be surprised. You'll be right. And I'll freak out if that's, if that's true. Yeah, it's true. You're going to find him. That was the kid. Tell me which kid. Tell me about that kid again. Because I forgot that's about the, it. That's the kid that got shot 18 times. That's the kid I'm talking to you about. Which one? The one that was paralyzed. That the cops shot him up, and I and I went to court and I fucking testified that I saw everything that happened. And the fucking kid had the fucking um. Uh, the kid was was running for safety, 
and he's paralyzed, and and he and and, and the cop accidentally shot him up, and they got caught up on that. I would like, I would really like to find that kid so I could take a picture with him because that that means a lot, right there, the picture. I, I didn't get no money out the deal, but I know he got over a million dollars for that fucking case. Eighteen bullets in his body. He was left to dead. They yeah, but plus in, in, for two hours in the street. Didn't they put him in jail? And then they locked him up and put him in, and, and they took him to the hospital and they hanged him up on the bed. And from then he went straight to the county jail. After after they 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 were healing him. After he was healed, he went to jail and his mother came crying, talking about man. I, I said, hey, I said that, I heard that was just was that your son that that, that got shot up. He said, yeah. I said that wasn't the handicap kid, was he? Said she said, yeah. And then I fucking turned my face to the ground. I said, here goes my phone number, my name, my address. Everything. Give this to your lawyer. Go get the lawyer. The kid bonded out of jail. I'm the witness. I saw everything that happened. They they put that gun in his in, in his hands. He, he they went to go get a gun and they put it in his hands. I I the, I heard the officer say to the other detective, "I accidentally shot the kid." And then the other guy told him, "Hurry up and go get a gun. That's the only way you're gonna get out of it." And then he went and he came back an hour later and they placed the gun in the floor right there where he was at. And I, and I thought the kid was dead, and I didn't know that that was exactly what they were doing. And I'm watching them. I said, no, they're not. No, they're not. And I thought the kid was dead, but I didn't know it was the kid that I knew, that handicapped kid, because he was with me. And he was running for safety, because he had rode the, the Schwinn Black Phantom. Remember I told you the bike? Did I tell you about the bike? He, he told me, can I ride the bike? And I said, are you sure you can ride it? He said, please, let me ride it. And I let him ride it. And then he brought the bike back to me, and he said, man, thank you, man. I always wanted to ride a bike like this. And he wrote it. And then that's when, when the, the Latin Kings were shooting at the detectives and we had to split apart from each other. I took the bike and I threw it in the back of the pickup truck and I told him, go home, go home. And he said, I'm going home. And he, 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 he was trying to run. And he, by the time he made it to the house, the cops ran up behind him and, and, and lit his ass up because he hid behind the door. He hid behind the door and they lit him up and they dragged him out of the fucking hallway and they put him in the middle of the floor. But I didn't know it was him. I thought it was somebody else they shot up. So I was there, and because I was maintenance, I was in charge of the area. What were I doing? I was fixing somebody's house at the time that all this happened. Your Honor, I was, I've was. i been working for this Chicago Housing Authority for many years. I've been in this CHA development for the last three years. And this is what I saw, and this is what happened. And when the fucking judge heard that, they put me in a jury trial. The fucking jury, everybody in the jury just got up and, and I walked away and they took care of the business from there. They found the kid not said, guilty, right? Huh? Not guilty? They found the kid not guilty and the fucking two detectives, they were all fucked up. They were mad at me. Oh, I, I didn't know better. I lost my job. I, I knew I was going to lose it, but I didn't know better. I could have sued him. They yeah. The, detectives, the chief of the detectives went over there and said that Eladio fucked us up, that your, one of your code workers fucked us up, and and we we ended up um, um, losing the case. And But they, they lied. The, the, the point of everything was that they lied, and they tried to put a gun on the kid, and I saw them do it. And they tried to send him for, to prison forever. They to attempt to murder on the cops? Murder, man. That man, they, they said that, that he shot at the kid, at, at the officers. Yeah, tricked, that's 30, 40 them. years. That's 30, 40 years for that kid. Even though they lit his ass up 18 times, they, they all 18 bullets hit him. They aired him out. They aired him out. He but lived. The, about it, the bullets went through his body all around, and no, it didn't hit no organs or nothing. Everything... But bullets hit him all through his body. Miracle. A miracle, dog. I want to take the picture with that guy. I got to find him. You'll that's find him in that park. Oh, that's that's where... Ladio, that's the park that those kids from over there, those little land kings, those kings go to right there. You know what? You just said something. If there's kings over there, he might be in that area. Yeah, because those are all land kings now. That's not the deuces no more. I, I know there's a lot of gay people there. Yeah, that don't make no difference. That's that's right by Belmont Police Station. That's all mixed up with everybody. All those people are cool. Maybe dude, though, 
that's working in the park, even though he's gay, he's just a lazy motherfucker. That's all. That he's gay don't mean shit. That he ain't yeah. doing his work is what counts. You gotta do your work. There you go. Yeah. You fuck who you are. You could be a space alien. I, 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 not only I was able to get him out of prison, I went to court and I testified and all I made was $45, but it wasn't, it wasn't about money for me. It was, I was proud that I was able to help that kid get out of prison and I'm sure he made a dollar off that deal. Yeah, of course. He should have. He got shot 16 times by the police. 18. On, 18, 18 unrighteously. Then they turned around and tried to send him to prison. Yep. Shit. Are you crazy? I'm, I'm, sick. I'm sick and mad at myself because I had all the paperwork from court. Well, I, hey, if you go to work there, I guarantee you're going to run into him. Because he's still I'll around there. If I, if, I, if I run into him, I will freak out. Oh, you're going to run into him? I would love to run into him, you want to know? Because once I run into him, I'm going to shake his hand. Hey, how you doing? Come on, man. Let's take a picture, man. And if you don't remember me, ching, 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 ching. Oh, man, long time. Don't see how many people in a long time. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, have a good day, pal. Well, I forgot your name. And then you give me his name, that's been one. Yeah, then I can find the records. And then now... I can, can look up the, the case in Cook and uh, Clerk of Circuit Court. Because he yeah. got arrested and went to a trial. He's, there's going to be documents, the trial transcripts, arrest records, everything's going to be in there. And we can yep. go and I can get copies. Yep. yep. Once I get his first and last name, it's history from there. And and get pictures from him, with him. Me and him together. And then, and then, and then, and that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Once I got that, then that's going to be part of that book that I'm going to throw in there. Yeah, well, you let then me know. I fucking saved his ass from going to fucking prison. Book. I don't know how I'm going to say it, but I'm going to put something, we're going to put something together. I told you, whenever you're ready, I write, as long as I'm, f I'm finished with mine. So, I can write yours now if you want to. It's like, like I this. You're talking over the phone. And I want to find it. It's like this. You're talking over the phone, and I could be writing it. I could be writing the story right there. Once I find the kid, the pictures, and his name, and now I get further information, and I'm going to put that one in there because now I'll be able to make a dollar with him. Because yeah. I, didn't, I didn't make nothing out that deal but $45 for court to court. And yeah. not once, none of the family came and knocked on my door. They know where I live at. And said, thank you for helping my son out and my family out. Because they pay, they got paid for that. I knew they got paid. But I wasn't about the money. I was just about happy that I was able to help. But they didn't even need a gracia. Not even La Gracia, Papa. They didn't even tell me thank you. That's why if I find them, I'll get a picture and I'll put it in okay, the Okay, good. I already told you. If you go to work at that place, you're going to find them because that's where he's at. Now, that's you it. Just, you just left me with yeah. the thought. That yeah. might be where he's at. Yeah. He ain't gone nowhere. The last time you seen him, you say you seen him around the Versi. Hopping I around. Him, I seen him right there by the projects because yeah. he came back being nosy over there. Yeah. So he's in the neighborhood somewhere. Yeah. I would have never thought in a million years he'd be right in that area. He might be. Because every time you go to work from your house, you're going to be driving past there. You're going to run into him. You're going to see him there or he's going to come to the park. I've been looking. I've been looking. I go every day over that way. I'm not lying to you, Joey. Every day I take a ride through that neighborhood and I try to see if I see his ass. And now you left me with the thought that park, he might be in that area. Yeah. He might be in that area. And he is in that area. Last name. He's history from there. Unless he's dead, he's fucking in that area now. He's in that area. Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah. I saw him. He was dressed up real nice. He was dressed up nice. He got money. He got money. I saw him. He came. I told him, remember me? And he said, yeah, yeah, I remember you, but he didn't remember me. He was scared. He thought I was a cop. Yeah, that's probably what he's worried about. Yeah, because I got, I was bald-headed. And he said, damn, fucking cop ran up on me. That's what he was scared, I think. He didn't really know who I was. Or he did remember me, 
but he, he, he priced it down. Damn, look who it is, man. I never gave him a penny. Oh, man, he probably felt uncomfortable, and, 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 and he pulled up real quick. Because it, I, I wasn't asking for nothing, but he could have came to my house because he came here to talk to me. When he got out of jail, he was he was walking. He came straight over here, and he asked me, would you do this for me? I said, I'm going to do it for you, Papa. I got you. And he came to my house, and he knows where I live at. He, he could have came and shook my hand and gave me a hug and told me thank you. And I would have been appreciate that more than ever. Maybe he did come that. and you weren't there. Huh? <laughs> Maybe he did come and you weren't there. <laughs> because he would have knocked on the door. Yeah, but you're not there all the time. He may have come. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe he came with the, to hit you with something you weren't there, Ladio. Maybe he came and, and hit you with something and I wasn't there. You're yeah. right. I can't even find none of them. His, his mother, I can't find nobody. They all disappeared. All of them disappeared, the whole family. I found his 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 um, cousin and I told him I'm the one that helped him out. Call him and let him know let him know that I would like to talk to him. I, I, it's not about no money. I told him. I just, I, I, I just want to, I want to see him and I want to give him a hug and I, and I, and I want him to, to recognize that I was the one that helped him. And she took my information and never called me back. All right, then we'll, I'll let you go, man. And we'll do this uh, when we get back. Talk to you. Peace. Okay. Peace, Lario. <laughs> Now the next one I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do uh, a live, YouTube live on Mal Alderman Maldonado who's running in Chicago. He's a crook. I'm against him. And I'm doing exposés on him. And this is going to be an expose on him. Okay, thank you for watching. And have a good day. Or good night. Or good morning. Mm -hmm.